back to the channel. My name is Luis. This is Green Zebra Gardening. Uh, today I'm going to go ahead and show you a quick garden tour. Uh, we did get some rain last night. I don't know how much rain we actually got, but I wanted to show you what was going on in the garden. And I can already see a few things I need to do. One of them is probably going to be to harvest a bucket of potatoes. I will shoot a separate video for that. Uh, but everything is looking really well, or really good rather. Let me go ahead and go uh, through each bed individually for you. Alright, so it is starting to get warm, but it has been pretty warm the last probably week or so. I think the last time we just got a little bit of rain. I don't think we got a ton, just got enough. Um, we have some sunflowers, we have some zinnias, we have the peppers that are looking good. That tomato is not looking all that great, but it still looks okay. That one looks amazing. The garlic in here is looking pretty good. I do need to go through and fill in the grovias. I've already gone through and checked which ones need refilling. We've got a couple garlics. We have the one eggplant, the Florida Petite, these Rosinias, and that is a pepper. On to the next bed, we have pepper, we have tomato, zinnia, some onions. Those are the ones, if you guys watch that onion, it was something, I want to say onion, it wasn't onion and garlic, it was an onion planting video. So I had one of my, my youngest, he went through and he planted these, and these look really good actually. Uh, pepper. We have an ahi dulce pepper in there in the first couple days, the roly polies and the slugs we got to it. So I pulled back some of the watch and I think that's helping. But these zinnias are looking good. This tomato plant is looking amazing. The borage is still boraging. Check it out. So we'll see. I'm probably going to take that out at some point. Just because it's just so dang massive and I don't want um, baby boards all over the place. Oh, check out that trunk. It's a massive trunk. Anyway, we got potatoes. We got sweet potatoes. Those look amazing. Uh, we have still the parsley going. We have another sweet potato coming up in the back. Um, we have some tomatoes, pepper. I think that's a sunflower. And we have another pepper. I didn't put too much along the back because we have the sweet potato back there and we have the one tomato plant. I might slip in something in between, but there is a tomato plant in the middle. I don't want to put anything on that pole going straight up because there's a garlic there. I don't want to have to harvest that garlic and then there's whatever attached to it or next to it that will damage it. So we have a Florida Petite tomato over here. There we go. Florida Petite tomato on the left, pepper, I think sunflower right next to it there uh, another tomato and I think that's the New Yorker just because it has a different shape but it already has blooms so now the next bed we've got peppers going all along the front we have a tomato in the back we have garlic interspersed and we do have a squash um, that might be either a Rondonese or um, there's another one not a buttercup but it's a small like almost like a what do you call it? Almost like a pie pumpkin. We've got tomatoes. We have peppers and we have the... I think those are sunflowers. The sun is starting to warm up. I may have to go get my hat. That one I think I'm going to harvest. I'm going to harvest that in a different video. First bucket. We do have others that are looking okay. This one can definitely use some more time. But I think that one is probably ready to go. The Groyas don't have the caps on them right now because I'm going to go through and fill those up. I've already gone through and see, to see which ones need to be filled. Pepper, flowers, pepper, pepper, tomato, garlic, and garlic. I didn't put a tomato on the back because I saw that garlic and that garlic is not coming out until June. Don't want to make the same mistake I did last year, pulling them in April. Although right now we're in May. Today is May 1st. Uh, we have another tomato. Zoom you guys out. The onions my son helped plant, if you saw the onions, the first and the second bed, those are looking really good. Uh, the next bed we have tomato, that one doesn't look all that great but we'll see if it recovers. There's another tomato back there and another tomato, that one definitely, don't know if that's going to make it but we'll see. Garlics and onions, I don't think I really seeded too much in this just because I have too many garlics and I have the tomatoes. Not only that, I don't want to fill up on all peppers. Uh, so I may do some squash or something in there. We're going to swing around to this container. I planted beans all the way around. And oh, and I do have the 
Uh, this is the Florida Petite. Has some zinnias in there. There's one, and I or is it a sunflower? I don't remember. But the beans are looking fantastic. I'm gonna switch over to this bed here real quick. We have tomato, garlic, tomato, tomato, and we have a bunch of beans up front. This is a bed that had a ton. This one and this one had tons of uh, calendula in it. Um, but it's all looking, I don't really think I planted anything else. I'm very happy with the way the beans are coming in. Because I know that will definitely help feed the soil with the nitrogen. Um, and then I did put a bunch of beans in here. And I did find in my large grow bag, I had the banana that I thought had died but I got three pups. I was able to salvage one of them for this container and then I got another one. I think it's already growing pretty well and it's only been in there for maybe a week. Uh, no, this one is so good. There's nothing wrong with this one. If anything, it's looking fantastic. We do have another pup coming up. Um, some of these tomatoes are probably going to get tossed or just composted. I'm not sure yet. Some of them look really bad. But anyway, this tomato, or this banana rather, is looking fantabulous. I had three of those full of just greens. Um, but I was able to, you know, I waited for them to break down and sink into the compost bin. So I topped it off. And right now we're looking at... Zoom out. What is that, 100? There we go. We're about 90, 95. I broke up one of the substrates put it down that broke up pretty easily but the second one was a little tougher and so i just left it in big chunks i gave it a good watering and just left it alone so i'm going to leave that alone as this stuff breaks down in here i'm going to be dumping this in there and i'm probably going over the saturday over to long beach mushrooms again picking up probably another dozen bricks and that way as this goes down then i can slowly mix it in and we have some yellow oysters, also from that um, uh, Long Beach Mushrooms. That's where my, all my mushrooms come from. So, again on this one I did tomatoes pretty much all the way around. Or sorry, not tomatoes, beans. We've got two pepper plants. Another pepper plant and another one. So four all together. This one, oh, and this one has somehow got a sweet potato in here. I don't think this one has any flowers, so I may need to put in some flowers. This one had a lot of cabbages in here. This one also had um, shard and greens. I don't think it had kale. The kale was all over there in these beds. But I think that's pretty much it for the garden for now. That's just a quick tour. Let me show you guys all the flowers and all the plants we got going on. Alright, I don't know if I've actually shown this in a video, but I do need to water these. Uh, we have marigolds, peppers, peppers, zinnias, tomatoes, we have a lot. Yeah, these guys aren't doing all that hot. I haven't checked on these guys in probably a week. Thankfully that rain helped last night. We got some peppers, more peppers, tomatoes, uh, beans and a mix of beans and sunflowers some sunflowers some more tomatoes some peppers more peppers peppers and tomatoes over there and then these zebras are all green zebra tomatoes from home safe seed they're doing fantastic then basically from here this way these are red pear tomatoes i bought these seeds i don't remember where i got them from maybe san diego seed company i don't remember um but they're looking pretty good of course the fresher they are again i don't I, that's the other thing i don't even know how old these are these seeds but i got a good amount of them to germinate so i'm pretty happy about that i do need to water them in though i know the heat is helping but i definitely need to water them in but that's pretty much it um all right guys well that's really it for the garden i just want to give you a quick overview i am going to harvest the bucket of potatoes i'm going to quick shoot a quick video on that and i am going to shoot a video on propagating cuttings i picked up some rooting hormone and i got some cuttings for pomegranate i have to see 
I can remember what variety it is and maybe watch a few YouTube videos but I did pick up some rooting hormone and I did pick up some potting soil that I can put them into and I do have some red solo cups problem is I have to make holes in them and that's gonna be a pain I'm gonna see if I, c I can find some smaller containers that already have holes in them anyway uh, that's pretty much it for now. I'll catch you guys on the next one. But don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the thumbs up. So whenever you, we post new videos, or I post new videos, you get those notifications. Alright, catch you guys later. Peace.